All right, guys, welcome back to another Catan game. Today, we're going to be playing some more 1v1. And looking at the board, I really like the 4 5 11 spot just so that we can build on the 9 10 11 and then get on that 3 of 4 as well. So, there's a lot of possibilities. So, let's go ahead and take that spot up. And the reason why I want to get on the 9 10 11 is so that we can continue building to the wheat port and that will become a massive help for us. However, looking at the board, there is a strong chance that we might end up getting plowed. Then again, he needs a 2 to roll, which I don't think a 2 will roll, but a 7 would be nice. There we go. We got lucky because I'm pretty sure he could have ported all that brick out for a sheep and then built on that 9, 10, 11. So all we need is one more 4 or probably 3 more 5s. Really hoping for one more 4 or even an 11. I wouldn't mind trading my card. And he's committing, plowing. Interesting. Does all of that. I'm going to go ahead and city this up and point my road this way. So he doesn't go for that eight of sheep. If that's what he was planning on doing. And I would say good plays by him for sure. And he wants to go for that wheat port. Can we get to that wheat port before he does? I need a four. I really need my four to start rolling. Literally the one card I need is a four. So can we get a four? Can we get a four? Can we get a four? Oh man. So I'm gonna dump out this and this. And Wait, oh shoot. Okay, thank God. I completely forgot. Okay, now I need a four. I forgot that he could rob me. And I think he might be able to get the settle on that weed port. He's not building. I'm not sure what he's trying to do. Probably going to that wood port makes sense. And I still just need my I still just need a four to hit. If it hits now, I'm going to be so upset. Okay. Okay. That's it. We're changing up our game plan. No more. Sh uh, we wow. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. Okay. I don't think I can wait to get on that port. I think I need to build that eight of sheep spot first. And he's going to build on that wood port, I think. No, builds over there. We get that. One, two, three, four. I'm going to go ahead and buy a dev card. Get a knight. And I'm going to go ahead and probably block that 10 from hitting. So that he doesn't get wheat. Having four resources blocked earlier hurts. Especially when it's wood. Especially when that wood... Could have allowed me to get on both that wheat port and that eight sheep spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and buy another dev. Get a knight. I'm not gonna port for a wood. I'm gonna wait for my four to hit. Get an 11, which is good. Get a three, get a six. There we go. Buy another dev card, get another knight. And yeah, I mean, would, would it have been better to city up the 6? Or I think in hindsight it might have. He's probably going to go ahead and settle on the 11-3-6 now, I hope. And we're just going to keep waiting. And hope that... I don't know what his road network is looking like. Okay, at this point I'm going to go ahead and port one out for an ore. And keep holding. Wait for a 7. Okay, don't take the ore and we're good. And I'm going to continue blocking that 10. Took a break, which is fine. Really doesn't help him that much. Let's take that. Get a wheat from him. He is close to a city for sure. And so, and we also get a city at this point. He gets two sheep, which is great for him. Gets a five. Should get, should be able to get the settle. And he's rocking that double port play. 
Finally, we get a four. So let's come up here and build on that. And the way I wanna go about this is, uh, for sure we need a sheep port. So let's come over here and do this. And he has a lot of wasted roads, no doubt about it. So we're gonna build on that sheep port and then I'm probably gonna try coming down on that 10 spot on the bottom. So let's do this. And we do have army on lockdown for sure. And he needs to port a lot of cards out for a city. There we go, probably cities up. Doesn't city up. Now he does. That was actually pretty smart of him to get that wood port because now he was able to get that city by porting the extra wood that he had. And we are going to go ahead and buy out more knights. I'm gonna move it off of us and build on build on the 510. I think that's another city incoming. Yep. So roll, do that, move it off of us, put it on that eight. There we go. And come over here, take that spot. Get a three, which is a lot. Have to discard a lot of cards that sucks five cards that's fine probably go ahead and put it on this six and get a year of plenty which is helpful and can we sneak road one two three four five six seven theoretically we can sneak road what i'm trying to think of is we'll be at 12 so we still need to continue building a whole lot more so let's come down on the bottom could we end up getting plowed we can so i don't want to take that risk so let's just go ahead and use the year of plenty for the settle okay kind of pays off pretty quickly he has a lot of brick i really want to go ahead and see if i can get a mono and next i think the settle spot should be on the 10 9 towards the bottom He's gonna go for the connect. He's at 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So he can't build anymore. So we can. Let's continue buying out the deck. Gets a knight, moves it off of us. And I believe he got an ore. So he has an ore, ore sheep, two wood. Okay. We'll do that, move it off of us and continue blocking that five, I think. And I'm gonna go ahead and continue buying out the deck because that city on the 10-5 is not gonna help us. Takes a week from us, move it back. And I'm gonna put it on that five. Okay, get a nine. Secretly do want the five to hit so we can settle. And I think the strategy is to Pull for VPs, because he is pulling cards as well. And we have five knights. He at most has one VP. Takes our or which hurts. I'm going to go ahead and block that five. Get a four, which is good. And I'll come down on the bottom over here. Gets all of that. Can't build anymore, that's for sure. And he again has to port, port, port. So at most he can port about two cards, if not three. So he's contemplating buying more dev cards, settling, whatnot. We can't push him off a settle, that's for sure. Because all that brick just rolled, I'm gonna roll, okay. That's fine. And I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the nine in that case and come over here. He rolls a seven, lucky him. Gonna move it back, put it on the six because the wood is helpful for him. And wait for an eight. There we go. And then settle. Buy he buys a dev, probably gets a VP or something. And I will wait. 
gets one wood. Probably has a mono, but even then, what will he mono? The deck, I believe, is hot with VPs at the moment. So let's pour all of this for a wheat. Get a road builder. So I'm going to take road right now. Get four, which is good. Here comes a mono on the wood, I think, which gets him two cards. So it's not, it's not that bad if you were to do it. Nope, continues buying more dev cards. Is getting a lot, a lot, a lot of cards. So we're at 11, 12, and yeah, game over, GG. So he resigned, makes sense, because we would have taken road for 14 and then just built another settled spot, so he had it coming. Overall, looking at the die stats, not that even at all. Resource blocked, pretty all right. And yeah, that's going to be it for this game. I'll see you guys next time.